Okay, first we lay out the cards. Six, six, and eight. All right, then we cut the deck like so. Okay, now pick a card up, please. Now don't tell me what it is, I have magical powers. Six, six, and eight. That leaves me with 11. 11, 11. Seven, 11. <laughs> Two, four, six, seven. That leaves me with four cards. And look, they're all clubs. So that means that this must be four of clubs. Am I right? I am good. <laughs> Time to add another deck. Go ahead. Mr. Jim, Mr. Saul, we have a Beverly Jensen on line one. She set up an appointment for the 23rd, but she has some concerns. And I don't, I don't know how to... But, uh, it's fine, Janine. Go ahead. I'll talk with her. Janine, you gotta patch her through. <laughs> yes, Mr. Saul. <laughs> Hello, Mortimer's magic. Yes, this is Mortimer. Well, yes, we can do all that. Acrobats, juggling, fire breathing as well. No, man, we, we don't do dark magic. Look, this is a children's show, okay? All ages are fine. Yes, six year olds would be great. No, no animal sacrifices will be performed during the show, I, I promise you. No, no livestock will be harmed during the show, I assure you, this is wholesome family entertainment. Yes, I, I do balloon animals. No, I'm not a clown. But I do balloon animals, Mrs. Jensen. Yes, yes, we can saw people in half. You know, not to them. <laughs> this is perfectly harmless. No, no one will be paralyzed for the rest of their lives. No, look, I can't show you how it's done. I'm sorry. It's magic. If you'd like, I, I, I'll leave your son out of it. Okay, well, I, I won't saw your son in half. As a matter of fact, I'll just leave the, the saw trick at home. No, not because it's illegal, but... Look... Mrs. Jensen, why don't I put you in the box and sell you in half, and then you can see how it's done? No, I'm not talking dirty to you. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Jensen, are you taking your clothes off? Now, why would you do? Mrs. Jensen, are those power tools? Now, Mrs. Jensen, th th I feel very uncomfortable with this right now. And I'm a married man, Mrs. Jensen. No, I don't feel comfortable talking to you like this. I gotta go, all right? Bye-bye. Jeez Louise. Is Mr. Soul? Wait, 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 what? And Mr. Cypher is here to see you. Who? He doesn't have an appointment. Oh, okay. Uh, Showman? <laughs> oh, uh, Janine. Go ahead and uh, cancel Mrs. Jensen. Uh, she, uh, I don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Soul, so good to see you. Do I know you? No, but I know you, you old so-and-so. How have you been? <laughs> I'm Louis Cypher. No, my buddies call me Lou. Okay, Lou. My buddies call me Lou. Hey, Mr. Cypher? I'm just messing with you, kid. You can call me Lou. Okay, Lou. <laughs> what can I do for you? <laughs> you and your assumptions, would you listen to this kid? It's not what you can do. Are you going to sell me insurance? Insurance? <laughs> insurance? <laughs> I'm here to make you an offer that'll blow your socks off. An offer that you can't refuse. I can't or should? Well, it depends. Are you a gambling man, Mr. Soul? Well, I play bingo with my grandmother on Saturday evening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and how does your wife feel about you playing bingo every Saturday? Well, she goes with me usually. She's very fond of my grandmother. Oh, a family man. Enough of the small talk, Mr. Soul. What I'm here to talk about is this. 
How would you like to be the greatest magician that ever lived? I think I'm pretty good already. I know 89 tricks. I'm working on number tricks. <laughs> I don't mean tricks, Mr. Soul. I mean magic. Real magic. What are you talking about? How would you like to win every round of bingo you ever I don't think that'd be very fair to my grandmother. Well, fine. How would you like your grandmother to win every round of bingo she ever plays? I guess that would be okay. But what about a friend at the nursing home? Who needs friends when you've got money, son? These are dollar bills we're talking about. Good old American money. You can buy her all the friends you want with all the dough you'll bring. No, no, the pot's only like $50, so... Then forget the bingo, pal! <laughs> we'll go to Vegas or Atlantic City, wherever you and your sweet little grandmother want to go! I can give you powers that will make you rich beyond your wildest imagination. Look, uh, Mr. Cypher? We're doing good with money, but really. My, my wife's a doctor, and I make a decent living here. We have no kids, so... But you want them, don't you? What? Kids. Adorable little cherubs running around and calling you Papa, and you take them for ice cream and balloon rides trips on the Ferris wheel. Isn't that about the size of it? Yeah, I guess someday. But you can't have them, can you, Mark? You can't have them because your wife's barren, isn't she? Who are you? I'm Lou Cypher, Mr. Soul. You can figure it out. I don't care what your name is. How do you know about my wife? Oh, I know a great deal about... I know a great deal of things, Mr. Soul. Especially about how you feel about this little receptionist of yours. Well, Janine? What about her? Well, we both know she's a terrible receptionist, Mr. Soul. I'm sure she wasn't hired for her typing skills, if you know what I mean. What do you mean? <laughs> I called three weeks ago to book an appointment. She never put it in the book. You're lying. <laughs> check her book. It's fine. I'll check. Check it. Okay. What does that prove? Just because it's not in the book, that doesn't mean you call. I just happen to have a recording of our conversation right here in my pocket, Mr. So would you like to hear it? I'll play it anyway. Good evening, my dear. Is this Mortimer's Magic? Yes. How can I help you? Are you Janine by any chance? I... Uh, yes. Well, Janine, I'd like to set up an appointment, if I may, for exactly three weeks from today, at this exact hour and minute. Oh, okay. And your name, please? Louis Cipher. That's with a C. Okay, Mr. Cipher. I penciled you in. <laughs> Thank you, Janine. Oh. What secrets can you tell me? You don't need to hear the rest of them. <laughs> okay. So she screwed up one reception of uh, one appointment. That doesn't mean she's a bad reception. Oh, she's an idiot and you know it. You said so yourself. <laughs> what? I never said anything. <clears throat> September 17th. My God, she's an idiot. I've hired an idiot. She's the biggest idiot I've ever worked with. What have I done? I deleted that. You should really be careful what you post on Facebook, Mr. Soul. You never know what you're watching. No, 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 I deleted that. Yes, but not before I say it. Why would you say... How did you... Okay, fine. I was three hours late for a birthday party. The mayor's daughter of all people. I mean, the idiot wrote down three instead of twelve. I don't know you could screw that up. But what, Mr. Soul? But I was angry, that's all. I wrote some things down that I shouldn't. And I deleted it. I would have fired her, I suppose. I was going to fire her, but... But what? She started to cry, and it made me feel bad. And what was she wearing when she was crying? A turquoise turtleneck and a miniskirt. What? And you're sure the miniskirt had nothing to do with your decision? What? What? Look, I, I never touched her. You weren't hugging her when she was crying? Well, yeah, but... You didn't gently massage her shoulders and tell her everything's going to be okay. You didn't wipe away a single glistening tear with a nice brush of your thumb and stare at those supple lips of hers for just a moment too long. Were you not touching her? Well, yeah. But, uh, but I love my wife. I would never cheat on her. Cheating? My goodness, son. I never said anything about cheating. 
Although, you're a magician. Isn't pretty much everything you do some form of cheating or another? <laughs> what the hell do you want from me? I want to give you an opportunity. Why must we always make choices? Wouldn't you like to have everything you ever wanted? Why do we have to choose between the Lindas and the Janines of this world when we can have both with a simple snap of our fingers? My god, son, when you go to a restaurant, you don't choose between soup or salad. You can have both. Bread and butter. Your cake and eat it too. My god, life is hard enough without all these infernal little decisions. Wouldn't you like to have Linda for your Saturday? Or better yet, wouldn't you like to have them both over at the same time for a delicious dessert? I never understood this human need to limit yourselves to one person at a time. It seems like such a lonely existence, if you ask me. I don't think Linda would like that very much. Fuck Linda. Linda will evolve. This is about you now, buddy. You will have more power in your little fingers and you will know what to do with. She will beg you to keep her around, no matter how many women you have. And Janine, Janine's fur, she'll give you that child. Janine! Oh, Janine, sweetie, would you come in here a moment? Yes, Mr. Cypher? <laughs> Please, call me. Yes, Mr. Lou? Mortimer would like to tell you something. Yes, Mr. Soul? Oh, please, call me. Yes, Mr. Mort. But Janine, <laughs> don't call me. Janine, sit in Mortimer's lap. No. Yes, Mr. Lou. No, that's not a good idea. Please don't sit in my lap. <laughs> oh. Good. Now play with his hair. Tell him how you feel about him. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Now! Gene Mortimer, I hope she doesn't file a sexual harassment last night. Janine! Oh, don't worry, she'll be fine. But she's calling the police! Yes, Mr. Cypher? Oh, please call me Lou. Yes, Mr. Lou? These spells are inconsistent. You have to retrain them each and every time. Can you get on your knees and fuck like a little chicken? <laughs> the weak-minded ones are so easy to control. Janine, don't do this. Janine, get off! Oh, I haven't told her to obey you yet. Look, you're proving your point, all right? Now tell her to stop. <laughs> Good girl. You're humiliating her. So, she'll never remember. But I will. This doesn't turn you on? No. It's disgusting. <laughs> Fine. Janine, purr like a little kitten. No, that's... Why would you... Now rub on her leg. There we go. Is that better? Yeah, I guess. So, you don't mind degrading her so long as it turns you on? Sure. You disgust me. But you're the one doing it! And you're the one with the heart on! Are you interested? Yeah, but... What about Linda? I mean, she's a doctor. She's not weak-minded at all. All humans have their weaknesses, Morty. It's just a matter of finding out what they are. What if I can't? Well, then you're not a very good magician, no one. What do you want in return? Your name. My name? Yes. Your entire name. <laughs> Wait a minute. I, I need those. Not for long, you won't. Emmanuel? <coughs> Mortimer? Lazarus? Soul? The third. It's <laughs> quite a mouthful, isn't it? Why do you want your name? Great grandparents used to worship me. Did you know that? No. I didn't know him, actually. Yes, I told him to name your grandfather this. And he your father, and then you in turn. Such a mouthful. 
Did you think it was odd growing up? That is why I want to your name. Oh! Pretty nifty, isn't it? No, uh, I'm, I'm just getting the Lewis Cipher reference. <laughs> well, catch up, Mortimer! Your very life depends on this decision! Did my father make this decision? Yes. And his father before him? Yes. What did they decide? What do you remember? Oh, they, they both died before I was born. That's because they said no to me. What if I said no to you? You died. Like today? Well, no, not today. But you have been eating a lot of trans fats lately, and stranger things. <laughs> <laughs> What am I off? Well, if you say no, I will leave your office, and you will never see me again. I cannot assure you that I will not, not see you again, Mr. Mortimer, for I will follow you home, and I will watch you make love to your wife, with or without your consent. In a fortnight, she will be pregnant, and she will name him number four. But it won't matter, because you'll be dead before he's born. She'll be dead shortly thereafter. And in 30 years, I will make of him the same request. What about Janine? <laughs> Feel regret. Oh God, Janine, no! Wake up! Wake up! What did you do to her? If you say yes, you will have the power to resuscitate. Her and any one you like. You will be omnipotent for 40 years. You can live a long and fruitful life for those 40 years and share it with whomever you like. Want to die now or later? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else I need to know? Well, if you die now, you go to heaven. Miserable. Place really full of angels and harp <laughs> music and clouds, terrible boy. And Janine? Oh, I have no say over her. That's up to the big man upstairs. Now, what will it be? A lifetime of wealth, leisure, and all the Janine love that could possibly handle. Or an afterlife full of fairies and clouds. <laughs> 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 I, uh... What decision will you make? I, uh... Yes, what will you choose? I choose... <laughs> yes, hello, Mortimer's Magic. Well, yes, we do animal sacrifices. <laughs> Dark magic up the kazoo, yes sirree. Why, sure, we can saw your son in half. I can't promise he'll survive, though. <laughs> yes, Saturday the 3rd would be great. Oh, and Miss Jensen, you don't have to pay me with money. Sex is perfectly acceptable. Okay, Miss Jensen. Ta-ta for now. Oh, you, Mrs. Jensen. <laughs> oh, Janine, are you ready to go? Yes, Mr. Soul. Janine. I'm sorry. Yes, Mr. Mort. That's my girl. <laughs> <laughs>